At the center of Morocco's ancient city of Fez sits a piece of history. The Shuwara leather tannery is the oldest in the world. Amid a multitude of colors and powerful odors, tanners here transform animal hides into leather. And their methods date back to the 11th century. But the work is incredibly time consuming and labor intensive. <laughs> Adil Al Karisi has been doing this job for over 30 years. But the tanning process that he loves relies on heavy chemicals that pose health hazards to him and his co workers. And some say they're no longer willing to take the risk. So, will this ancient craft continue to stand the test of time? We visited Morocco to find out how after more than a thousand years, this craft is still standing. These arches surrounding Fez lead to its market's narrow paths. To find the tannery, all you have to do is follow your nose. The scent of dead animal skin and feces fills the air at the souk, a leather bazaar that houses the three biggest leather tanneries in the city. For most, the smell is unbearable. Local guides give tourists sprigs of mint to place under their nose when they visit. But for Adil, it's part of the tradition. He works with goat and sheep skins that he buys from a nearby market, and then starts the cleaning process. Adil uses water to loosen any dirt or mud. It also softens the skin, making it easier to work with later. The next day, he transfers the hides to these large stone vats that hold natural acids and dyes. He leaves the skin for two to three days in a solution made of chemicals, salt water, and cow urine. It'll break down excess fat, leftover flesh, and hair. But it's just as harsh on human skin and can cause serious injury. Adil's father, who also worked in the tanneries, tried to stop him from following the same path. Adil stands in the mixture for hours a day, plucking and scraping off any loose hair with his bare hands. He wears waterproof pants, but there's still a risk of severe chemical burns. Then he washes the hide three times until all the hair falls off. This tanning technique dates back to the 11th century. The natural chemicals in the solution alter the protein structure of the hide. Adil then moves the hides to the basin filled with a mixture of pigeon droppings and water. They sit for two days to thin and stretch. Then he places them back into the phono machine for a final wash and drapes them along small balconies to dry for 48 hours. Traditional tanneries like this were common in Fez and Marrakesh. In the 16th century, workers used leather to make products like books, shoes, and clothes. It quickly became one of the country's leading exports. But tanneries during this time used extremely hazardous chemicals, and many workers suffered from severe health conditions like cancer. So in the 19th century, the leather-making industry shifted away from traditional, dangerous practices to more modern machines. The few traditional tanneries that survived struggled to compete. 
هذاك يخرج 800 في الفون Today, Adil makes less than half the money he made when he started out. Despite that, he says he can't see himself doing anything else. In this small room, he scrapes the hides to remove any leftover hairs or fibers. This step has caused him severe pain and has taken a toll on his body over the years. من كتعرف شحال حتى هي حاني كتحني على 60 كتبقى 60 وانت داير هكا 60 مره كتطلع وتهبط وكل جلده كنضربوا فيها 64 ضربه 64 ضربه ديال طلعه وهبطه كل وحده تصور 60 شحال كتضرب He continues until the hide is completely smooth When it's ready he brings the finished leather to craftsmen like Muhammad Al Hilu السلام عليكم. السلام ورحمة الله. اسمع عمد. كي داير خا كي داير مع تسامي راه مزيان. محمد has worked as a leather craftsman for over 20 years. He separates the leather based on the type of skin and checks the quality to determine what product he can make from it. هذاك هذوك الجليدات خديت هاد البيعة ولكن جبتها شفتها مع الإنارة مزيانة هكا جبتها يعني خدامة. Muhammad designs bags, shoes, and belts. These handcrafted pieces can take up to a week to make. تخصنا شيء واحد بحال هكا توا كيما خصو يكون عارف المنتوج شنو كيشري. شمن مراحل داز؟ راه شحال المراحل دازو منها راه داز باش باش تكون هذا الصاك هذا والانسان اللي يحمل شي حاجه راه كيحمل شي حاجه ديال الثقافه. راكي كيحمل شي حاجه شي شي تقريبا علين علين نقولوا 10 ديال القرون هاد الدار دبا More than half the population in Fez works in crafts and merchandise making souvenirs and products and selling them to tourists but the pandemic brought tourism to a halt for two years and the economy hasn't fully recovered since مزيان الحمد لله كدوز النهار كاولتي بخير الحمد لله هذا هو ذاك الناس المعجبين نقور كيدوزو مقدامين كتعجبهم الصنعه ديالي كيقول لك واش مسموح نتصور معاك كيدخلوا كتصوروا معايا اديل knows how difficult this craft is but he doesn't believe traditional tanning should end instead he hopes conditions will improve for the next generation of tanners الحاجه اللي كتخليني الحاجه اللي كتخليني شاد في هذه الخدمه هو الصبر عندي شي عندي شي احساس سبحان الله العظيم كيدور كيقول لك دابا دابا الامور تبدل ديما تابع بحال شي خيال تابعه 